Okay, now that we have this first Lego piece put into our assembly, let's go and add some other ones. We're going to come on up to place again, regular place, and let's choose another Lego piece. I'm going to choose this red one. This is part number 3001 old, which will be just fine. Hit open, and it's doing the same thing. It's not quite in the correct orientation, so before I click anything, I'm going to right click and rotate X axis, Y axis, Z axis. Uh, looks like the X axis would be a good decision. I have to click it a few times to keep rotating it and looking good. I'm going to place down one of these, click, and you know what, why not, for fun, place down a second one. When you're finished placing them down, right click, hit OK. And now we have two Lego pieces. They have six degrees of freedom right now. They're allowed to move up, down, left, right, and then in, out as well. In and out, just like the burger place. And they are also allowed to rotate any which direction. Well, Legos, when they're snapped together, shouldn't act like this. And in fact, let me control Z, undo that. If I drag this over and make it look like it's clicked on there, that's that looks great. But if I change my perspective, things might not look quite right. We might have them not clicked together. And actually, if you notice, these two objects are actually inside of each other. That's not great. So in Inventor, we would call that a collision. In order to get things to fit perfectly together, by the way, in order to spin around, Remember, shift on your keyboard, hold down shift, and then hold down the middle button on your mouse, and you can free rotate anywhere. And then scroll wheel for zooming in and out. Hold down control to left, right, up, down. In order to click this on here, we need to go ahead and use some constraints. Now, in your engineering notebook, what you need to do is create a new page of notes called Assembly Constraints. And go ahead and write down these definitions. These are the three constraints we'll be learning today. The mate constraint, which makes two flat surfaces face each other. The flush constraint makes two flat surfaces have the same elevation. And insert constraints makes two circles concentric, aka same center, and have the same elevation. Go ahead and pause the video and write those down if you haven't done so already. And then we will go on to the next video where we will talk about the mate constraint.